Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here with the haul. I thought you guys thought I was good this week. Not. But I was. It was a very small haul, not much at all. So I'll just get straight to it. Um, this week at my CVS, I don't know if it's still going on, but all the Maybelline stuff was buy one, get one free. And for some reason I thought that'd be a good idea to buy even more mascara, even though I have so much of it. But I mainly bought it because I've been wanting to try Colossal, and I picked it up. Here's what the wand looks like. Everybody knows there's been like this big old Lash Blast versus Colossal battle. And I'm a Lash Blast girl, and I recently tried Colossal the first time. It didn't do that much for me, but I used it today, and I realized that if I curl my lashes before I use it, I like it a lot. So, um, Colossal's good. I mean, I still love my Lash Blast. I kind of am annoyed that it's like rival companies with the bright, like, I hate when people do things like obviously trying to compete like big obnoxious tube and whatever that's kind of lame but it works well and I like it a lot um, the wand I'll show it to you again because actually I'll show it to you in comparison to the lash blast so here's lash blast this is the lash blast wand it's like kind of rubberized and it's huge it's like a lot of little rubber bristles and then here is the Lash Blast wand is it's fat as well but it's more of a traditional wand and then here they are together I'll use my giant forehead so you can see see so they're about the same size this one is shorter but this one is like longer in fact these are just more traditional bristles and this one's more like the rubberized bristles but um, I like it a lot I got it in glam black um, and then like I said it was buy one get one free so, uh, the other mascara I picked up was Maybelline Lash Stiletto. Can I just say I'm in love with Lash Stiletto? First of all, how hot is this? It's a stiletto heel packaging. And this is more of a lengthening mascara, but I really like it a lot for an everyday mascara. It's a really long wand, um, but it's fairly thin. And this one um, I got in brown black, but I love it so much. It's like my new favorite mascara and I say it all the time and I'll say it again I think the drugstore mascaras completely have high-end beats I mean of course there's you know some exceptions of fantastic high-end mascaras but for the most part drugstore I always tend to like them much better than high-end and I'm really liking my two new Maybelline mascaras so check either of those out I highly recommend Lash Stiletto though I kind of like that one a little bit more than Colossal and they're actually very similar I think Colossal, Colossal is a little more evening and Lash Stiletto is a little more um, daytime, but maybe it's just because of the color I got. I'm not sure. Then also Drugstore. It was buy one fifty percent off on um, the Sally Hansen. Sally Hansen, why can't I talk today? Natural Beauty um, line, which is the line that they worked with Carmen D from What Not to Wear. And I had been wanting to try this out. This is their eye Fast Fix Eyeshadow Base. And it's just a primer, like a Too Faced kind of thing. It's just neutral colored. It goes on clear. Um, I just use it straight out the thing because I don't really see. It's like it has no color. I haven't used it on myself. When, uh, the day I bought it, I did makeup for my friends, Helena and Amelia. They just graduated um, nursing school. Congratulations. And um, I did their makeup for their night out, and they had no problems. I didn't see any creasing or fading, so it lasted all night for them, and it looked really good. And then I also picked up the Sally Hansen Natural Beauty Luminizing Face Primer. And I got this. I don't wear face makeup, but I got it for my blush because sometimes my blush, um, I have a hard time with it staying. And sometimes I just don't want to deal with getting like a cream blush that matches the powder blush. So I got this for when I use powder blush. And the thing with this one is, like I said, it's luminizing. So it has like, I don't know if you'll probably not pick it up. I should rub it in. And that's a lot. <laughs> but maybe you'll be able to see it then. It's kind of like a highlighter. It has like luminizing, um, can you see that shine, like flex in it. So it has shimmer built into this. So if you're looking for a matte finish, this wouldn't be for you, but it does give your makeup a very pretty, like my friend's skin, I did my friend Amelia's foundation, I did this under her foundation, and she looked just very glowy and beautiful all night long. So if you're looking for something to give you like a natural highlight, try that. So that's pretty much all I got. Um, I didn't get anything high end. Um, I did order um, like a week ago and it finally came. I took advantage of the 20 or 25% off, whatever it was, from MAC Holiday and I got the warm pigments. I've never had a pigment thing and I've always wanted um, melon pigment with, and um, reflex black, uh, antique gold. These are the two reasons I really got this. Um, 
I love this. This is really pretty, but I cannot imagine having a whole full-size bottle of glitter. And um, melon, I just always like, I'm like, eh, eh. So these are like the perfect amounts. And I'll swatch them for you. So first we have melon. It's just a really pretty, this is like a a MAC staple. Like everyone who's like a diehard MAC fan has melon pigment. That's kind of not a good swatch. And it's that one right there. I hope you can see it. It's really pretty, literally like a melony frost. These are all like frosty colors, no matte. And then I guess I'll just do the Reflex Antique Gold since it's here. I should just do it like this. That's probably better. But you can see, like, it doesn't come out like this. When you put it on, you kind of, like, spread it out, and then that darkened color goes away, and then you just get, like, pure glitter. And it's so pretty, this kind of glitter. It just looks like specks of light. Like, it's gorgeous. It's not obnoxious. It's completely finely milled. They put this in the dazzle glasses, so you could essentially make your own dazzle glass um, if you have a reflex glitter. Then it also came with Gold Dusk, which is like this really bright, almost like white yellow um, gold color. That's it on my finger. Can't really see it. Let me just do a good swatch for you. Um, this color is really pretty. I like it a lot, especially for inner corner. It's right there. Sorry, you guys know I have like the worst lighting known to mankind. So I love you guys because you put up with my crap. Next we have Gold Stroke, which is a really beautiful color. It's more of a darkened, like, it's almost like a purpley um, gold color. It just is. It's like a purpley, maroony mauve. It's really pretty. There it is. That one was um, Gold Stroke. And then lastly is Gold Mold. And I was really excited to get this because um, if you watch Vintage or Tacky's videos, she loves Gold Mold. And she was like, love, love, loves it so much. And I feel really bad saying this, but I was kind of disappointed when I got it. I was like, eh, it's just kind of gold to me. Like, Gold Mold doesn't really do it for me. It's not an ugly color. It's definitely a pretty color. But I don't find it to be, like, a... Uh, a not original color. It's just very ordinary color. I have a lot of eyeshadows that look like this, so to me it wasn't like a must have. And that's it right there. And that doesn't really do good justice to it, but this is how it looks in the vial. Gold mode. So yeah, that's what I got the little darling set. This was I think it came out to like twenty two bucks a little bit more or about what I would have paid for just one um pigment. So I was happy with that. And that's it. I'm trying to be as good as I can. I'm pretty bad, but I'm trying to hold out. I'm probably only going to get like one or two of the powders from Dame Edna because I really want one of those compacts, but I really, really, really plan to go all out for um, Blonde Burnout Redhead. And I really hope that it's not, it doesn't launch when I'm out of the country because I'll be really sad. But that's all, guys. My little tiny baby haul. I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you all are getting ready for the holidays. I'll come on. And wish you guys some holiday cheer, but until then, take care, guys. Bye.